By the end of this video, I expect you guys to be able to start using Anki for your medical school courses. I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through downloading Anki, importing a pre-made deck, and tweaking a few settings, and I'm going to show you guys step by step in this video. Before I start, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button, like this video, and left a comment down below for that YouTube algorithm. Let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to AnkiWeb.net. I will have this down in the description, and you will scroll down and hit download for Anki right here, 64-bit. It'll pop up over on the side and make sure you set it up and get it started. The second thing you need to download is the pre-made decks. So I will have this one in the description as well. This is the V7 update, the newest version. I highly recommend you guys download the newest version if you're going to start Anki today. And you just scroll down here. There's a lot of information on here on Reddit and here they are so these v1 step 2 step 1 I would highly recommend you guys can either download this step 1 step 2 or just the step 1 uh, I would just do the step 1 if it was me personally and I would just probably do the step 2 later once that comes up so once you download that it's gonna pop up over here it might actually take a while um, because this file is actually kind of large so if you need to pause this before we move on Go ahead and pause it. Alright, the third thing I want you guys to download is a review heat map. This is an add-on and I'm going to recommend this add-on straight off the bat because I think it's going to help you guys with your motivation to keep doing these flashcards even if this is your first time using it and because the learning curve is so hard you're going to need a little bit of extra motivation to keep yourselves going so you don't burn out too fast and feel like it's not useful. So this will be in the description as well so you just scroll down, hit assets right here and then hit this button right here and the download will start over here on the side. Alright everybody, so hopefully you have the Anki app open and you're staring at a screen like this. You shouldn't have any decks in there. You might have had to sign up with your email or something like that. But now what you're going to do is you're going to head down to import file and you're going to click on that thing that said step 1 with media or the step 1, step 2 and once that imports you can keep playing this video. Okay everybody, now that you have your decks imported, it should say Onking or Zonki Step 1, whatever that file name was called. What I'm going to have you do is click on this little gear and go down and hit options on that. Okay, so hopefully you are seeing these options right here on your screen. And what this is showing you is how easy you want these cards. And I'm not going to go into these settings right now. I'm gonna, just going to go show you guys a few settings I think you guys should do to start off. I would definitely, definitely not hit this button. Uh, I would make sure this is unchecked. Actually, I'm just going to go to my options. So these are my settings. So on the new cards tab, I have it in 1 in 10 for every new cards. I always have them in random order. My new cards per day, I keep it high right now since I'm not doing anything. Uh, this, if I just want to do my reviews, guys, I will hit 0. If you just want to do your reviews for the day, just hit 0. Uh, my graduating interval and easy interval is 1 versus the default of 4 and my starting ease is still 250 and this is unchecked right here. So the reviews, I have max reviews because I get my reviews done every single day. I don't know if these are different than the default ones. Let's see real quick. Yeah, so I changed two things on this. So I changed the maximum interval. So this is the days guys. If you start getting cards correct a lot, it's going to start pushing them out a year in advance. And I put mine at 4 months, so 120 days, and then I change the ease is on this. And these are all personal guys, you guys are going to have to experiment with this to see how you guys retain the information best. Of course, do not have this checked. My lapses, uh, on this I would hit tag only, so hit this button and click tag only. If not, if you keep getting cards incorrect, it's going to unsuspend them. And as much as I want to unsuspend cards, I just tag them. And that's that's what I do. So on the general, uh, there's a few settings that you guys can play with. I don't really, I didn't really move any of these. I've never used this answer timer, so I'm kind of interested to see what that is. And that's basically it. So those are my settings, guys. You guys can go ahead and copy them just to start out or leave the default. I would definitely move the maximum interval 
and the not checking the bury related cards that is those are probably the two most important settings I would recommend for you guys starting out right now today. So one last thing before we start on activating cards. What I'm going to have you do is go up here to the tools bar. You guys won't be able to see my drop down but go down to the button that says add-ons and click it. So now that you guys hit that add-ons button you're going to have this file. So now what I'm going to have you guys do is hit this install from file button and then double click on this new on the one you just downloaded the review heat map download double click that and it will pop up right here so and then you can go ahead and close this screen so that add-on is actually not going to show up until you restart Anki and what that is it'll just show you a screen down here and show you all the reviews you have done for that day how many you have upcoming etc all right we're almost done guys now what you're gonna do is go up here to this button this browse button and click on it once you guys have clicked on that browse button you guys should be seeing this screen and up here it should be blue so what I'm gonna have you guys do right here is hit enter so this is gonna pop up right here and what I've done is these are all currently active and yours will probably be active so what I'm gonna have you do is click on one of them hit control all and it's gonna highlight every single card in the deck if you guys see up here at the top screen it shows you how many cards are in that deck it's gonna be a lot so once they're all selected then I'm gonna have you guys hit control J so now those cards are all inactivated so you have no cards ready to go and once I close this so now you see that here in the on king one since I've inactivated them all you have no more cards so now go back into browse so now that you guys hit browse again what I'm gonna have you do is go up here to the top click here and hit enter so yellow means that the cards are inactivated so earlier what we did is we inactivated all of the cards and the way I search for cards is I follow my professor's lectures so let's say we're learning about hepatitis so what you're gonna do now is up here in between this deck current you're gonna type in hepatitis so all of these cards are cards that have the word hepatitis in them um, in medical school you probably aren't gonna learn everything about hepatitis on that first pass so what I would highly suggest is you start sifting through these cards by looking at what is on the front of the card and then on the back of the card if it's relevant then all you have to do is click on it and hit control J and now you see that that one card is active you can activate all these cards if you click on one of these yellow ones and hit control alt control J it's gonna activate every single card with the word hepatitis in it somewhere in it it doesn't have to be on the front of the card it can be on the back and it'll still show you that card all right guys and that is it you guys are ready to start using Anki for your medical school classes if you want to search specific decks all you have to do is make this bigger and you can see all the different decks in here I would highly suggest you guys sift through these so that you guys know what decks are available um, a lot of you guys are gonna start in this MSCT musculoskeletal like anatomy block so you guys can click here and activate the anatomy cards and I hope this helped you guys a lot let me know what you think in the comments make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video